Now that you've tried Part B on your own, why don't you compare your answer to mine? So first let's calculate the amount of space taken up by the actual track. That is the question. So to do so, we need to find out what the area of the large oval is, so the entire track itself, and from that we need to subtract the area of the small oval, which is the white portion here, the interior of the track. That will give us the area of the track itself. So first let's calculate the area of the large oval. Well that's going to equal the rectangular area, which will be equal to length multiplied by width, and keep in mind here we want the 32.5 meters for our width, not 28.5, which would be the interior. And we're going to multiply that by our width of 100. So 32.5 multiplied by 100 is going to give us our rectangular area. Now we need to know the area of the two semicircles on the ends. And again, we want to use this diameter of 32.5 as our diameter, not the 28.5. So the formula to calculate the area of the two semicircles will be 2 multiplied by the formula to calculate the area of one semicircle pi r squared divided by 2. And making our substitution of 16.25, which is half of 32.5, we can calculate the area of the two semicircles. Once you've worked out the, for once you've worked out the calculation, you should come to a solution of 4080.6 square meters. So now we know what the area is of the large oval. All that remains to be found now is the area of the small oval. Well, to calculate that area, we also need to know the rectangular area, and we would also like to know what the area is of the two semicircles on the outside. So very similar to what we did to calculate the area of the large oval. The formulas used to calculate our semicircles are pi r squared divided by 2. Since there are two of them, we'll multiply it by 2. After you've worked out the calculation, you should come to a solution of 3,487.9 square meters. So now we know what the area of the small oval is as well. And we can subtract that from the area of the large oval to find out the area of the track itself, which is 592.7 square meters. Therefore, the area of the actual track surface is approximately 592.7 square meters. Now try this question on your own and check back for the solution.